And welcome back, everybody, to our XCOM 2 Chronicle. I am Aesop Grimm, and we are on mission. We need to shut down this network, and Safia is the one we need to escort to the network to do that. So, I don't want to move my medic first. Let's move Eduardo first. And, as I've said before, they say that if you're gonna rush... then the first move is the one to do it with. Let's see, Eduardo is a, a Marine. Do I have a Sapper? So, yeah, Dave is a Sapper. Let's bring Dave up to here. Understood, moving out. Might be able to see a little further. Okay, so we have, uh, okay. Overwatch. Elsa is an assault troop. Moving to position. Affirmative. Covering now. Sophia, I think I want to protect her. Good to go. Digging in. Flinch, Jimenez. Jimenez. I don't know why I keep wanting to say Jimenez. I think it. I've always heard it pronounced Jimenez. Anyway, Flinch will come to right here. Move, move, move. Bring the medic. The medic, uh... She should probably be more centrally located. Either she should go here. Let's bring her here. And then Ian, I think I'll bring here. So you can see our health has gone up quite a bit with the Predator armor. We don't want to lead with the Medic. Rolling. Got eight turns. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Elsa moving up to here. Eyes on the prize. Silva heading out. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Get a peek. Twice. Okay. Well, unless we got baddies over here, I think I want to bring Dave all the way up to this point right here. Roger. It's a, it's a little bit risky. We'll see. Okay, and then Safia can move to here. I don't want to run through here. Moving out. Bring the medic up. Okay, are you able to hack? I don't want to hack that. Will do. 
Solid copy. Still no bad guys seen. That's a little bit unusual. Stepping off. They must... Maybe they're all collectively loaded up at the uh, destination. Are we going to run into chrysalids here? Alright, so there's something down here because it's saying that we would set off an overwatch. Good copy, moving on target. Berserkers. They can't do much from range, but they're lethal up close. Chrysalids. Okay, Ian is compromised. So we're going to be fighting on this round. Um, Let's do this. Solid copy. Digging in. Where can I put Elsa? Gosh, I really like to be right here. Moving to designated coordinates. Oh, I could have had her up here. I'm on it. Stepping off. Roland. Here's our chrysalid. Here's our berserker. Affirmative. Moving out. Eyes on the prize. Okay. Here we go, guys. We're in the sight. That armor's tough. Deflection. Thirteen of eighteen health. Honor Guard, what's that? Oh, they got a sword. They're like an assault troop. Oh, 
Oh no, man. He made a lot more progress than I would have expected. Looks like they called in some friends. Oh, we cannot afford misses against this thing. He's already on us. I guess that will be okay. It's dead. It has to be dead. Weapons burning ammo fast. Went off the armor. Weapons empty. I think he gets to move if he gets shot or something to that effect. Roland doesn't get a move, huh? Oh man. Because um because when that berserker hits it disorients them. Oh, she was close enough to be disoriented also. Good. Let's see, we could, uh, let's do the free reload. Let's do this. And move to here. Take the shot on the chrysalid. Okay, now, um, we have the honor guard. I guess I could move to here. I could move to here. It would also be half cover, but it's half cover from two sides. Or... This is all... This is full cover. And it gets me a flanking shot on our honor guard. Whatever you say. Missed. Oh, come on. Okay, Elsa. A slash is gonna do three to five. Weapon is four to six, so. Move to here for the flank shot. Oh, he's armored. Let's put her into Overwatch. Flinch. At least get into half cover. And we'll go overwatch. Alright, honor guard's down to three health. Got a lot of movement points. Missed. Wow.
Whatever you say. How many moves do we have? We've only got two before the network shuts down. Oh, you have missed more critical shots in the last couple missions, like shots that really, really needed to be made, really needed to be made. Oh, it's not her. It, it was the other medic. I really need to bring in up to here. Because we've got to move in on this network. Sophia, you gotta book it. Stepping off. Flinch, you Where actually you need go? to reload. Let's on put you on Overwatch. The Advent Network Terminal is shutting down. This is your last chance to secure the data. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna make it. Good to go. Ian, dang it. Doesn't look like I'm close enough to hack. And Sophia is, oh, she's a touch too far, just a touch. gonna get it that's just that's hard that's hard moving to overwatch ready to go moving to overwatch all right um on the move Transponder readings from the Advent Network have gone dark. Enemy forces have locked out the terminal. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Oh, that's really disappointing. All right. Live and learn. Live and learn on that one. I was one turn too, too late. This is a failed mission. I don't want to give any MVPs on this. I want to know who my best performer was, but I don't want to reward anything. Elsa Olsen, one kill, 14 damage. Oh man, that is hard to stomach. Okay. The next thing that I want to do, I might end up... Uh, I think I'm going to put you guys on pause because I, well, that's not true. I want to get Newman replaced with the right character model, but he's on a mission, I believe. I need to check. If he's not on mission, actually, I don't think he is. If he's not on mission, then I'm going to put you guys on pause and see if I can figure out how to replace him with the character pool, Newman.
Hello, Commander. Whoops. <laughs> All right, well, we got supplies. We're at 188. Let's look at a uh, few soldiers. And actually, while I'm thinking about it, I want. No, never mind. A few soldiers. Du, 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 du. I don't know where people right there those damn okay I'm gonna put you guys on pause and I'm gonna figure out how to get this guy replaced with the right character model all right guys I think I have it um you go here it's a mod called load from character pool and then you go to customize you go to character info and right here you have gender but notice you have a scroll bar so gender is the last one and right underneath well I guess a little bit underneath gender load from character pool and that is what our guy's supposed to look like he's like a banker from Luxembourg or something I I designed this character I think he looks neat yeah so a lot that's a lot better than the previous one in my opinion okay pressing on pressing on we need to go up here that's two failed missions in a row that, that's not that's a little unusual for me but um like Christopher Odd, I, I guess I heard him mention it in a playthrough on Gears Tactics, I think. He said it's called an Honest Man playthrough, where he doesn't save scum. And I do kind of like that. I don't, because of my skill level and because a lo most of the games that I'm putting up, I feel like I'm still learning. I reserve the right to reload if I just do something that I'm like, oh, in hindsight, that was really stupid, or uh, oh, I just learned how that mechanic works, and I, I want to reserve that right, but most of the time, I'm going to just record what's happening um, real time, you know, no take backs. So Overwatch shots will always miss Advent Troopers. Oh, this is complete lightning reflexes, doggone it. Okay. Well, that stinks. Setting course for the Arctic territories. And um I I like that approach. It just appeals to me in general. Commander, but there additionally, wounded during the latest covert action. But after a few days rest, everyone will be ready to get back out there. Okay. The resistance factions have helped to locate our captive soldier. We finally got a lead on where the Chosen have been holding our soldier captive. It's time we get him out of there. All right, before I click another thing and have this guy talk again, let me complete that thought. Um, so that Honest Man playthrough, the, the concept of it, it appeals to me just in general, like naturally. Uh, but in addition to that, I think I am wanting to at least give myself the option of switching to live streaming if I want to and I'm sort of trying to teach myself how to be absolutely used to just soaking up mistakes and pressing on because because the kind of player I am with no audience watching a lot of times I will reload but when it comes to recording a playthrough I want that to be I guess authentic is the word I'm looking for I want to be you know relatable <laughs> and so it's a different I have different motivating factors whenever I'm recording for YouTube than I do whenever I'm playing on my own. Let's launch mission. So we're going on a rescue here. And unfortunately my It looks like conditions on the ground are ripe for a quiet operation. If we can get our people into place, they should each have concealed positions to work with. My Reaper is wounded. She's perfect for these kinds of missions, but uh, let's take... A, okay, so she's... The medic is available. And it would make sense to bring a medic on a POW rescue operation, too. And... We've got a specialist. Uh, we got two specialists. I want to bring the assault infantry 
and I think it would be better to have a marine. Oh, it's her first mission. Don't die. <laughs> Don't die, Chanita. We've had a terrible trend here of people dying on their first missions. Okay. Um, Chanita's looking a little bit dolled up. I mean, she looks cool. I, I'm not denying that. She looks cool. But it clashes in my mind with the overall concept we're going for. Like, you ain't going to the club, honey. <laughs> you're, you're going on a rescue mission. So, um... What is she? She's an assault troop, so a ranger. See, look at how much tougher she looks. She looks like serious business here, you know? Not like she'd freak out over chipping a nail or something. I, I don't know. I'm kind of, you know... This goes for the fellas, too. But, anyway. I don't think I have to defend my situation. I think you guys know where I'm coming from. You may not agree with it, but... I think you can understand where I'm coming from on this. Alright, uh, perception plus four aim. So we have that to give. What's our aim stats? Really kind of unknown, it looks like. Who needs aim? Sixty-nine on aim. This is a Valkyrie squad, huh? All females? Yep. 69 plus 15. Where are you getting that plus 15 from? Is that coming from the weapon upgrade? Oh, the scope? That's not... Yeah, plus 15%. Okay. And, uh... Silva... You are at... You're, you're a natural 74. That's pretty good let's give Chanita the perception that puts her at 73 alright good deal Valkyrie unit going in for the rescue launch mission and we're gonna save it Oh, I didn't even start my timer. We've been recording for 28 minutes, so we're going to save it once we're boots on the ground. In position to drop. All right, begin mission. in the resistance we have a fix on the soldier that was taken captive during our previous operation it sounds like they're being held in a high security advent facility and our best chance at reaching them will be to go in as quietly as possible if we're discovered things are going to get ugly real fast the latest intel has our operative being held in the main structure just ahead we have the advantage of stealth here so we should try to get in and out as quietly as possible if the enemy spots us this is going to get a whole lot harder. Okay, this is for Mox. Okay, let's save it. There we go. And again, I'm Aesop Grimm. Thanks for coming by the channel, and I'll see you in the next episode, everybody, where this story continues. Thanks for visiting Aesop Grimm's Chronicles. If you've made it this far in the video, please consider rating, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. I hope to see you in the next episode, and until then, stay shiny.